Yeah, so you want to talk about uh, you know, basically what kind of thing is a human person. And uh, it's, uh, it's a question each of us can ask ourselves, you know, sort of uh, look, look into yourself, close your eyes, and think, okay, what sort of a thing am I? Right. And um, one, one thing that's sort of um, su maybe, well, to me, seems kind of surprising, is the confidence with which so many people nowadays in, in, the, in the sciences in particular, but really anywhere in the academy, um, how confident they are that we are entirely physical and that, that no, no talk about spooky, immaterial souls is to be countenanced at all. It's not to be, it's not to be heard. Well, what's of interest uh, about that for the Christian community is historically Christians have thought that we aren't just physical beings, that we have a, an immaterial soul. And so it's a, I think it's disconcerting for some to be hearing from the academy that, well, we all now know that, of course, that's not true. Yeah. And, and when you think about it a little bit, you realize it's not just that Christians have thought this, it's that everybody has thought this mm. uh, for eons. Mm. And uh, um, you know the the founders of the uh, modern scientific revolution, most of them uh, thought that we were not entirely physical. Um, so, what is it that's changed in the last, say, hundred years uh, that has made it clear to us that there's no such thing as a soul? Um, I mean, one thing that has become clearer and clearer is the extent to which our ability to think and many of our, our character traits and uh, um, lots of aspects of who we are um, are dependent upon the brain in very complicated and deep ways. Mm -hmm. So, you know, brain lesions can produce all kinds of uh, uh, inabilities, can produce all kinds of uh, bizarre agnosias, uh, and uh, the depth with which, you know, the, the depth to which our thinking and our um, conscious life is tied to the brain has become more and more obvious. So Descartes famously thought, yeah. perhaps the connection between mind and brain is mediated by some tiny little part of the right. brain. And we know that's not right. It looks like the connection between mind and brain is pervasive. Uh, uh, any kind of change to, or, or very tiny changes to the brain all throughout the brain cause changes in the mind, changes in consciousness. There's right. a very tight dependence of mind on brain. Right. But just because there's dependence uh, it doesn't mean that there's identity. Um, you know, so I'm also dependent upon my glasses for seeing, and you know, I'm dependent upon lots of things that aren't, uh, strictly speaking, part of my body to do things. Um, and. Uh, uh, it, could it still be that uh, the soul uses the brain to think uh, in some sense? <laughs>